Hello? No, but this is the wrong one. What about now? Can you hear music, no voice? What about now? Can you hear me now? Yes? All right. Still technically the wrong input, but I, if it works, it works. <laughs> Dude, streaming on Mac, man. Happy Friday. No shot this MF stream five days in a row. I think this is the first time. Even when I was actually a full-time streamer, I don't think I ever streamed for the whole week. <laughs> Emiphobia, hello. Rassemble, hello. <clears throat> Still getting this streaming thing done? Yeah, I'm pretty new. Uh, Motion by Sora, hello. It's okay, he only streams when he's about to go buy milks. Also, right. hopefully I look less pink today too. I realized I was looking a little Pink. Streaming on Mac is no bueno. Mr. Omni type, thank you for the 53 months. Inomushiki, hello. Big, big smalt, hello. Uh, we were hearing a repetitive keyboard typing sound there for a minute. Yeah, I gotta go, I gotta check my audio routes again. Mac equals poopy. I mean, it's been fine. It's just streaming sucks on it still. Uh, bar light time. Let's go. Yes, I do have all of the bar lights. We will get to it. We'll just let people trickle in though. I know I started a little late. I was uh, shipping out merch took a little longer than I expected. <laughs> uh, where was that sound effect coming from? The typing sound? I don't know. It might just be the, the audio drivers. The, or I'm doing a lot of like virtual audio routing, which kind of sucks. So that's probably it. What's your favorite coffee bean? Probably uh, some type of bean from Maru. Anyways, it's all good now? Nice. How long does the merch sale last? The merch sale lasts until November 27th. That's either Cyber Monday or the day right after, I believe. Yeah, but because I'll be in Korea, if you purchase an order now, I won't be able to ship it out until I'm back. So ideally, December 2nd, earliest ship date. What merch do you do? I have t-shirts and hoodies so far. That's why it's been a while for it to come out. Teha has been hoarding them. Yeah, I've been hoarding all the, uh, all the bar lights. Speaking of, while we let, actually, you know, we'll let people trickle in before we check it out. I'm just gonna break into his place to get my order. Okay. Just check the merch, it's actually fresh. Thank you. Is this Christmas music ready? Yeah, we'll let it play. 
<clears throat> Any weekend plans, chat? Video looks to be in slow motion. What? No way. Um, just saw your Instagram story. I've never run so fast to grab the MacBook. Nice. Uh, video looks fine to me. Okay, I have school tomorrow. You have school tomorrow on a Saturday? Pretty choppy, yup. Wait, my video, I'm not dropping frames. Is it an internet diff? Mr. Kupo says it's fine. Mosaic Dev, hello. Looks good to me. Okay, it might be a might be an internet diff. Low frame rate on camera. Thirty? No, I stream at twenty-four FPS. Looks lower than thirty. What? What about this angle? Does this look choppy? I'm on twenty-four. Is this choppy? Loving the more frequent stream. Thank you, thank you. It's cause uh, I will not be streaming for the next two weeks. Overhead and side cam a little smoother than face cam. What the heck? They're all the same. now I made this one 30 I mean is it like is it like slideshow choppy or is it just like natural motion blur choppy whoa mr. novel keys with the 59 months thank you is your background music DMCA free no it is not DMCA free <laughs> is that coffee out of a picture yes it's pretty choppy what the heck? I mean, I have no drop frames. Should I restart stream? Def lag on face cam. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I stop? Oh, shoot. What about now? Is that a little better? Sound sync issues. Uh, ah, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's because this... Dang it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, what about now? Sound better? <laughs> Sound should be better now. Yes? All right. Nice. I don't know what changed since yesterday. Okay, shall we get to the Bauer light? We've dilly dallied enough. But before we do, there is a new, well actually I don't know if this is new. But there is now a website dedicated to the Bauer Light. If you guys type an exclamation mark Bauer, or sorry, exclamation mark build, it should give you the details, but we are at bauerlight.com. 65% will launch in stock. No group eyes, no group eyes. Release date colors. We have all of these. First edition, uh, this one is a little more expensive than the rest, but you get to, uh, you get to be part of the cool kids <clears throat> having the first edition Bauer lights. But we have Ghost, Grim, Atomic, Seafoam, Rouge, 
made in the USA. Uh, it is hot swap. We'll get to all of this in a bit. This is also cool. You can also make your own. So you can buy um, just singular tops, singular bottoms. You can also buy your separate plates. So you can mix and match different colorways. Um, it is going to be, I'm getting rate limited. What is that? What is rate limited? But yeah, it is going to be more expensive to buy the individual components individually as opposed to buying the kit. I did confirm with Mr. Garrett. Page isn't loading. Did we make, did we break the website? Wait, can you not see the screen on my stream? Site is dead. What do you mean? I'm literally on the site right now. <laughs> but yeah, once again, it is going to be cheaper to buy the full kit as opposed to buying the individual components. I think this is more so for uh, if you want to mix and match your existing kit, you do have the option to uh, purchase individual separate colors if you would like. Some initial photos already. First edition. Okay, this will be limited to the first 250. Uh, oh, sorry, there's only 250 made of these. Sorry. What else? Via compatible. This is also new. The Bauer light plate. They're calling it the breakaway plate. So it supports both full and split backspace. You can convert it to the other by using a pair of pliers. And I think you have to snap off the, the area you don't want. We can try to play around with this maybe today. I'm going to guess this is not reversible, right? Yeah, just break off the center support with some pliers to use full backspace. So the original Bauer, uh, actually, I don't remember if it was also for the Bauer too, but I know for a fact for the regular just the first ever Bauer, you were forced to split backspace. So now for the Bauer Lite, at least, you can have a full backspace plate if you would like. That is nice. I personally prefer full backspace. Lol, no. Did the site die? Yeah, I think we're making the site crash. <laughs> Wait, what? Why not keep it open? Um, I think it's for switch straightness. It's just nice having a fixed plate if you are going to go with a split backspace, so you don't have to worry about straightening it. All right. Stop clicking the links, JK. Let's go through the colors one by one. We have the rouge. We have the sea foam. We have the Atomic, which I think uh, this is what Mr. Alex built, right? We've got the Grim. My redirect is failing, sorry. Dude, Twitch chat broke all me type. <laughs> Some end guy, thank you for the Prime sub. And we also have the Ghost colorway. And for those of you guys who do, who are super supporters, John, you get this. This is the Bauer Light First Edition, limited to 250 units. Batch number 1E. And it gets a custom packaging box. Yeah, if you guys do end up per okay, this is getting too tall. If you guys do end up purchasing the uh, extra additional tops and bottoms, it will come in much smaller boxes like this. So there you go. This, for example, is a separate, um, separate enclosure, yeah. So this is what the extras look like. Shall we start the unboxing?
When will the optional weights be available? Um, so all of this goes live sometime next week. That is all I can say. Sometime next week, the Bauer Light will be available for the world. <clears throat> Do extras include plates? Yes, I believe you can purchase extra plates. Ooh, let's check out the uh, authentication card. Oh, it's just it's just pen written. Okay. Pretty cool. One day in the future, no weights at the moment. They don't want to make y'all wait any longer. We'll get to it. I see. Shall we check out what the first edition looks like? I mean, let's go to the packaging first. Are the OG power plates compatible with the light? Oh, yes. That is a key feature. If you are an existing Bauer 1 or Bauer 2 customer, the plates are interchangeable. So you can you can just take the internals of your Bauer 1 or 2, put it into the Bauer light if you would like. So that's pretty cool. It's nice that they keep it uh, somewhat backwards compatible. I'm going to assume the tops and bottoms won't be backwards compatible with the Bauer 1 and 2. Oh, only Bauer 2. Ah, okay, okay, I lied, I lied. Only Bauer 2. My bad. Alright, this is the packaging. I like this curve. I mean, if, you, if you've ordered the Bauer 1 or 2 in the past, you guys have seen this sick packaging before. Forgotten Bauer 1. Yeah, I'm a Bauer 1 customer. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right. Pretty clean packaging. So this is the Bauer Light first edition. All injection molded. Oh, that's sick. Hold on, this is getting blown out. My bad. Oh no, it's changing the white balance, no. First edition. Dang, did they get a mold just made just for the first edition? Mine is an unnumbered. Out of 250, it is serialized. I have the blank version. Sick. Okay, it's got the Omnitype logo there. How is this put on here, Garrett? Is this dice up? No, I don't think it's dice up. That is crisp though. Maybe UV print? I hand drew them all. <laughs> yeah, internally, looks like the first edition gets its custom mold. Look at that. Serialized internally as well. Pretty cool. Designed by Omnitype in Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. I believe the packaging is the same for all of them. So let's just unbox one of these. But then I will show you guys the, all the colors for the other ones. So this is the first edition. Pretty nice pack. Ooh, it's like paper. And inside, yo, Mr. Damien, hello. Will this turn yellow like the OG HHKBs from 20 plus years ago? I'm gonna say probably not. I can't confirm though. <laughs> I mean, any kind of plastic, if exposed to the sun long enough, it will get this color slightly, but I'm gonna assume um, mixed with the proper chemicals to prevent that. It's polycarbonate, not ABS, so I don't think so. Ah, okay. Are they selling aluminum plate options? Is that a option, Mr. Garrett? Okay, so this is what you get in the kit. You get the necessary hardware, the gasket strips. Ooh, whoa! 
owner's manual? Yo, you got a physical build guide booklet. Oh, wait, I think I remember seeing some of these. Back when Omnitype used to stream, I think they, uh, they did a stream during the early days of making this booklet. Pretty cool. All right, there are some specs. Front height, 21 mil. Back height, 30 mil. Not including keycap height. All right, so you got a physical build guide here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, it's colored. Nice. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing this. Mr. Garrett was live streaming this on Twitch. Install breakout PCB taco bumper. Taco bumpers, that's right. Okay, we'll get to this in a bit. Um, you do get a plate foam included. PCB. And I think that's it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple packaging, nothing too crazy. No unnecessarily wasted space. I like. Power light plus real Fukui is something special. Man. <laughs> Will this be in stock for your overseas vendors too? I think that is up to the proxies, right? If I had to guess, that's more so determined by how much the proxies order. But I don't speak for Omnitype, so perhaps they can answer the question for you. Uh, simple 26, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. What is the expected price range of this? So if you are trying to get the first edition, this box you're seeing here will retail at $179.99. If you get any of the uh, standard colors, Starts at one hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, so let's open the the ghost colorway. Oh, that's right, that's right. The first edition does include GMK minimal, so it is more expensive, but you also get a GMK minimal set. Uh, I already got black on white GMK in waiting and pay $200 for it because of project keys and Mr. Sleeves already with me. I just need that first edition. Let me pay right now, have mercy. Unfortunately, I think, uh, I think the first edition is probably going to be first come, first serve. Oh God, autofocus. It's having trouble with this black case. Okay, so this is the ghost colorway. Yo! Okay, I mean, I mean, the Bauer light took a long time. I'm sure you guys have seen all the memes by now. But I mean, this looks sick. Plus the fact that Omnitype is going to let you order individual tops and bottoms to mix and match if you want. That's pretty cool. I don't think any vendor currently offers that for an in-stock product yet. Okay, so yeah, same 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 business. You got the plate. Oh, we got a different plate in here. This is a polycarb. And then same there. Maybe one of these has a aluminum plate. Okay, this is the the grim colorway. I will be ordering that ghost and atomic. Yeah. And the cool thing is the whether you get a first edition or just the standard color they're all interchangeable the tops and bottoms so you can swap it with anyone else who has a bauer light <clears throat> yo epp thank you for the raid thank you raiders do you hear the ticking sound on your right side maybe mike is catching something i have the window open is that what you're hearing? I don't hear a ticking on my end though. Okay, this is the Grim. So more of a, a smoky, I wouldn't call it black, more of a smoky gray polycarb. Pretty nice, pretty nice. What plate do we have for this? 
Oh, wait. Does the plate? I think the plate matches the color of the case. Hold on. Is this a... It does. You have a grim color. Uh, yeah, it, it matches. Whereas the ghost, the plate for this was definitely not as smoke. Yeah. Oh, color matched plates. That's cool. Okay, so that means you could also, yeah, you could even get a separate plate color if you like. After the fact. Okay, we don't need this yet. Can we also get color matched pour on strips? I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, next color wave. Atomic purple. This one you guys should have already seen, but I will take it out for comparison. Does screw and stabies work on place? Oh, shoot. Work on place mounted. If yes, can you recommend a screw and stabilizer? It depends on the case, but if you're looking for a screw and stabilizer, I would go Stabies or TXAP screw and stabilizer. Uh, would you advise me to buy my to loop my HHKB Hybrid Type S with 3204 or 205D0? I think 3204 is more than enough for Topra. This is the Atomic case. If you guys are into the the retro Game Boy. Kind of look very popular with that crowd. It's a nice purple. Nice purple. GMK cubed with that. I mean, you could even throw on DMG. What's the second stabilizer you recommend? TX AP screw and stabilizers. If a board is plate mod on the PC, then oh, okay. Ooh, this is the C foam. You know what the smart thing is about all these colors? I feel like Omnitype purposely chose these colors because they would work well with their existing keycaps. You can throw a botanical on this. You can throw DMG on this. I mean, black, black and white, you can throw whatever you want, really. But look at this. This is sea foam. And then the final color. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You get a matching sea foam plate. Final color. Can we get a can we get a poll going, Koopo? I'm gonna let chat pick what colorway to build today. Moto, yeah, moto would work well. Thank you, thank you. Mods. Oh, I forgot Juos here too. And then the final color. This is the. Can we see the atomic plate? Yes, sorry. Hold on. I'm running out of desk space. It's a little cramped. This is the Rouge. You can put GMK Redline on this. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Rouge is based F. I think all of these look pretty solid. And then you can start mixing and matching. You wanna go for Christmas? There you go. Yo, and then because it's, they're all a uh, polycarb Injection molded, you can kind of get both colors to show. Look at that. Or let's say you go like atomic and sea foam. Yo, I can't tell. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I do have five colors yet. Oh, no, I have six colors. There's the first edition. Rouge, Ghost, Seafoam, Atomic, uh, Grim, 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 Grim. You forgot Grim. Oh, you could only do five? Oh, GG. 
But yeah, that I like this. This combo looks kind of cool. Maybe we can do one more afterwards with the winner of this one and then Grim. Or if you're if you're basic, you can go monochrome colors or monotone. Sorry. Ooh, not bad. Grim and Ghost combined. What does it look like from the side? Ooh. Look at this. Look at all these Bauer lights. Rouge and Grim Bottom. All right, chat, place your votes for which colorway you want me to build. Just build them all? I can't. <laughs> Which one is the purple and green? Oh, wait, we didn't allow mixing and matching colors, huh? <laughs> Yo, this looks so cool, though. And then can't forget the first edition. We can make a Bauer Light Pyramid. Boom. Oh, wait, you know what? Should we just make this the screenshot for the stream? Oh, shoot. Get my legs away. Three, two. Three, two, one. Boom. That's the screenshot. Card is upside down. It's okay. It's for it's for the comment engagement. That is how you farm engagement, guys. You purposely make a mistake, and then everyone comments about it. First edition bottom with color top is sick. Oh. What if we try first edition bottom? Oh. One of all these interesting colors, you guys chose ghost to build. You, this is nice too. First edition bottom with rouge top. Yeah, ho. Chat's so boring. For once, chat has good taste. Uh, I'm gonna say no. How about, <laughs> what would pair well with green? Should we do this? Let's try this. No vetoing? No, no, I'm going to veto. Dude, we have all these interesting colors and you guys chose the most basic one. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Once we build one of them, we can just put the internal in something somewhere else. This is a dictatorship. That is right. Free will is an illusion. Okay, I cannot show all of these on stream. Sometimes the majority is not the way correct. Ooh, which one looks better though? No, I think it's cooler when the bottom shows like this. First edition top with seafoam bottom is that colorway. Yeah, this is basically a, a cheaper version of the Dave 2D commission that we built earlier too. Looks like Dave 2D colorway. <laughs> okay, so these are the Bauer lights. Uh, actually, let's just open up. Let's just open up one of these uh, extra enclosures to see what you guys get. Is it just first edition made of polycarbonate? 
I believe all of them are polycarbonate injection molded. Yeah, so once again, you can purchase tops and bottoms separately for, I think, a pretty reasonable price. Oh, okay, this is literally all you get in the box. Yeah, so you can just get a separate top or bottom piece, or even plate, and then uh, mix and match. So there you go. How much will these extras cost? All the pricing is on the website. Uh, let me pull it up for you. Right here. You can purchase additional tops for $34.99, bottoms for $34.99, and plates for $15. Does Woba make the Bauer Light PCB? Wait, has the PCB changed since the first Bauer? I would assume the PCB has remained, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm gonna stop talking. All right. Only five color combos, new pull. Any RGB, we will, let me grab a case. Does this have underglow? I see a lot of people asking. Where's the seafoam? Uh, ghost top, atomic bottom. Uh, Mr. Alex built the ghost, so if you guys would like to see the ghost, I'm gonna say check out his stream. Just to give you guys extra colors. Do you know if the Bauer light top case is compatible with the Bauer 2 bottom case? I don't believe the mounting, because the mounting is different for the Bauer light, you cannot swap cases between Bauer 2 and Bauer light. Just the internals. Yeah, you guys will see in a bit. Oh, so this is the breakaway plate. It does have some perforations there. You know what, let's do this. Because I'm going to say I don't like Mr. Garrett's default layout. <laughs> I am personally team full backspace on 65s. What is the advantage of having a breakaway plate? If you choose to go split backspace, you have plate. Just makes it easier <clears throat> to make sure it's straight. I don't think it's a big difference. The only downside is if you do uh, if you do clip this off, you can't reverse it. So you either have to buy a new plate. I mean, you can use the same one. Where's your jacket from? I like it. Uniqlo Muji? No, neither. This is from a Korean brand called Issei. Yeah, but it's already supported by three sides, like full stepped caps, right? Yes, uh, almost, yeah. I mean, you, you, it doesn't fully um, clip onto the bottom side though. Is this right? Oh God, I hope I'm not screwing this up. So you just take your pliers. Oh God, we are clipping. Okay, pretty clean. Could could be sanded down a little, but I mean actually I can just cut it a little cleaner. Yo. What do we do with this? That's the breakaway plate. <laughs> can you break it apart with your hands? I mean you could. I don't think you need the plier. Uh, I would say use the pliers just to be safe. You don't want to crack additional materials. You chew on it.
<laughs> tastes pretty good. Tastes like a uh, tastes like a Fogo U4T. I'm gonna get the new pop. What's the site to preview? Bowerlight.com. Okay, so the, this PCB definitely does not have perky RGB. If that is something you're hoping for. Are we getting a drop test? Sure. We can do a drop. Let's see if it survives a drop test, yeah? All right, whoever asked about RGB, this PCB does not support RGB, at least this first version. Um, I mean, who knows, maybe down the road, they could always release a PCB that supports underglow, but at least, that's f at least this first variant, no underglow. And it is hot swap only for the Bauer light. I think the stream broke my redirect. But yeah, pretty sick PCB. We have built with this PCB many times. Where is my phone go? We wanted to save some costs and per switch RGB can get expensive. I see. All right, let's follow this build guide. What does it say to do first? Bottom housing, top housing, uh, breakout PCB standoffs, okay. Power light build guide. Wish it was win key, not gonna lie. Still nice value though. I don't think a win key version of the power light exists, unfortunately. First step, oh, test your PCB. We recommend looming or stabilizer, install Cherry MX, 7U north facing. Okay, let's do stabs first. Let's do stabs. Then it wouldn't be a Bauer, true. Yeah, I mean, I also don't think Garrett's, or sorry, Omnitype's audience, RGB isn't as important. I think I think RGB is, uh, it would have been nice considering that the cases are translucent. But once again, that could always be, they can always make a new PCB if, they, if there is enough demand for an RGB version. Oprah version one, ooh. Maybe that is why Omnitype acquired the plates from Norbauer. Maybe. They're gonna release a electrocapacitor version for the Bauer light. Oh, that's some theory crafting right there. Heavy Bauer. <laughs> Does it have the leads to be able to add underglow RGB strips? <clears throat> no, I don't think so. <laughs> the Nor Bauer. <laughs> can you buy the color plates separately? Yes, you can buy the tops, you can buy the bottoms, you can buy the plates all separately. You can also buy extra PCBs if you would like, or if your uh, PCB breaks. Left shift, enter, full backspace, and then seven U. The first company to make electrocapacitive cheap will change the game. Would they change the game? I mean, they would change the game, but I don't know if it would necessarily be popular. I mean, there's already NIS. NIS plumb boards are 
relatively cheaper. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No way they finally made the Bauer light. Yes, they have. And it is going to launch next week. The, uh, the specific date and time has not been announced yet, but you guys can probably expect it to be announced closer to the date of launch. But sometime next week is when it will go live. Just in time for Black Friday. If you guys want to get some good gifts for your friends and family, or even pre-purchase for the upcoming Christmas holiday, or sorry, not Christmas, but upcoming holiday season, Bauer Light can be a pretty cool gift. Uh, will there be music time today? No, no music time today, unfortunately. I have, I have a lot of work to do still. <laughs> And I'm heading out to Korea tomorrow morning. Sir Baldus, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Taylor has been streaming for almost an hour and is just now leaving stabs. Hey, come on, I have to show off six different colorways. <laughs> Waiting for novel keys on Omnitype? Oh. I will bet my life savings that both of those vendors will have some kind of Black Friday sale. Ship it and clip it. If Novel Keys and Omnitype don't do Black Friday sales, I'll stop streaming. <laughs> you going to Worlds? What, gonna watch Faker win? No, I mean, I would have liked to watch it in person, but uh, I land on Sunday. So I don't think I would have been able to make it either ways. Now if they don't, we can start a ride. How much is your life savings? Oh, it is non-existent. <laughs> I wish. Having a life savings in this economy? Imagine. We may not need to do a sale and just take that instead. <laughs> uh, if Dracula does Black Friday sale, my wallet is rip. I mean I can't I can't speak for Omnitype. I would not be surprised if there is a discount for their in-stock GMK sets. I would also bet money on that. Apple Magic Trackpad, yes. Waiting on a Black Friday sale from Novel Key so I can cop Miklon for cheap. Ooh, that would be nice. Miklon, such a nice set. Blood spent his savings on acronym. Okay. If I had life savings, my life would be very short. <laughs> If only some boy, some boy can speak for Omnita. <laughs> yeah, which which colorways is chat liking so far? <clears throat> also, keep in mind these colorways are not fixed. This is just the first initial colors. Um, as this is an injection molded product, Omnitype, later down the road, they can make whatever color they want. They could, um, yeah. I don't know if you guys saw their early prototypes either, but they had some cool sort of vinyl inspired swirly colorways. I thought those looked so cool. But yeah, this is a uh, this the Bauer light is not limited to just these five colors. Long term, it is just that this first launch um, is the first launch is this five colors, but that can always change. Is this HHKB layout? No, this is not an HHKB layout. This is a sixty-five percent layout. What what do we call this layout? <laughs> it's a sixty-five percent layout with blockers, but it's also kind of unique this is a this is a layout that i believe mr garrett came up with but i don't know if there's a term for this the the blocker size is unconventional to keep it a little bit more symmetric than usual wind keyless symmetrical wind keyless 65 blockers bauer blockers is the only thing i've ever heard it called i see where are those images? What images?
I don't actually have a name. All right, we got to coin a name. I mean, is there any other board that uses these blocker measurements? You could just call it the Bauer, the Bauer layout. You got to start being like Apple on the type. You have to have a name for everything. And the more ridiculous, the more people talk about it. <laughs> Oh, the prototype colors? Ah, I don't know. It, it's probably on Omnitype's Instagram and one of their previous blog posts, but I don't think it's on their website. The magic blocker. <laughs> what about dynamic blocker? Dynamic blocker Pro Max Ultra. There you go. Featuring the new, oh, Omni Blocker. Omni Blocker sounds kind of nice. The blog post contains it all, long story on those transparent units. Ah. The, well, I had no part in the Bauer Light, so it doesn't make sense to call it the Teha Blocker. The Block Pods. Cock Blocker. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know about cough blocker. You know what would be really cool though? If Omnitype... Ah, uh, what was the board? I think it was called the, the Alex, Alex by uh, Tokyo Keyboards. If you can do Bauer lights with like the gradient dipped... I, don't, I forget what they called it, but that, look, that finish looks so nice. No one else has really done or attempted that colorway since. That would be sick. Yeah, it was a 40%. Yeah, I think it was called the Alix. Alex? Alix? Or Lix? By Tokyo Keyboards. We have some small units with fun stuff like that. Ooh. Feel my licks, thank you for the 32 months. Someone say licks, no licks. I have been forbidden by Alix, there you go, Alix 40, yeah. That finish looks so nice. But I don't think, I think they like hand dipped it in some kind of finish after the case was manufactured. Is there an official drop date? No official drop date, other than that, it's going to be next week. Uh, but uh, once the date gets closer, I'm sure Omnitype will give people a heads up. So make sure you are subscribed or following uh, Omnitype on their socials to be notified. But yeah, sometime next week is when this goes live. Oh. Hello? What the? Is it loading or what? Why is there this giant gap in the middle? <laughs> oh, it's a long dock. But this is the way bottom. Small batch additions? Oh, it's loading. <laughs> All right, we'll let it load. <laughs> is it 205 or BDZ on that syringe? It is neither. This is uh, the Carbon GS3 Lube from Kinetic Labs. This is uh, Kinetic Labs' alternative to BDZ. BDZ is a little bit stickier if you prefer that. GS3, it's a little bit more forgiving, but viscosity level is somewhat similar. Is it literally only not loading? Yeah, I think so. Like, 
I can load it up to here. It just immediately goes to a... Uh, Maybe it's an arc issue? Oh, hold on. Let me try this on Safari. Oh, I think it is an arc issue. It's loading fine on... It is loading fine on Safari. <laughs> All right, small batch. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, so this is not, you're not seeing, um, like that is all on the top piece. It's not a blend of the bottom and top, I think. Similar to how vinyl have those random numbered special unit editions. Yeah, -ho! this is like a three in one. You get sea foam on bottom, a little bit of rouge and ghost on top. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We'll be selling those in small quantities. They will be available, but very, very limited numbers. Ah. Wait, these the these will be available on launch date as well. Is that what you're saying? On launch day or just later down the road? Swirled colors. Not on launch day, okay. Just sometime down the road. Assuming it's a higher cost, it's probably a higher cost plus just harder to QC. Since uh I'm not, I'm not sure if you can necessarily control the swirl 100%. Probably in, probably in a few weeks. We were just focusing on launch colors for now, but we have them all just scheduling. Oh, confirmed, chat. Omnitype has it ready to go. They're just trying to get the... Uh, the they're just trying to focus on the launch first. Every unit unit will be unique and one of one basically though. I see. Will early day supporters of the Bauer Light will they also be receiving a poster of you wearing the sports bra? So when people say next week, does Sunday count? You mean this coming Sunday or next Sunday? I can never figure out if Sunday is this week or next week. I you this coming, no, not this coming Sunday. I usually start my Mondays from, or sorry, I usually start my weeks from Monday. I consider Sunday the last day of the week. I know some people like to consider Sunday the first day of the week, but I consider Monday the first day of the week. And Sunday's the end. It's been a while, how have you been? I've been good, Tobits. Hello. In church, Sunday is the first day. I mean, that is, that is true, yes. But as a business, it does not make sense to do sales on Sundays, I think, for a lot of people. <clears throat> Monday is first IMO. That's probably because of work. I thought Sunday being the first is anything. No, even an NA. I don't, I mean, it's, it's just preference, I think. A lot of calendar apps, you can choose whether Sunday or Monday is the first day of the week for you. All preference. God rested on the seventh day. The seventh day is Sunday. <laughs> I... 
crap. You're testing my biblical knowledge. I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> Is NA North America? Yes, NA stands for North America. Usually in the context of Twitch, if you see someone typing NA with all caps, it stands for North America. <clears throat> Does that mean Wednesday is the first day of purgatory? <laughs> Sunday is the last day of freedom, therefore the last day of the week. I just think it's a little weird to sandwich your week between weekends. I think it makes more sense to just have like uh, the work week first and then the rest days last. That just seems more logical to me. N-A naturally aspirated. Okay. Google says Sunday is the first day. Maybe Google is Christian. How about that? <laughs> he who laughs first, laughs first, laughs last. What? AI is Christian Keck. Oh, did anyone purchase the humane pin today or yesterday? Did it go live yesterday? Who, which bold, brave soul ordered the humane pin? You're all wrong, actually, because days aren't real time as a real. Can you say Irish? Irish wristwatch. Oh my god. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. That's kind of hard. Are you going to watch the League Korean or the League Championship when you're in Korea? I hope so. I mean, I'll be watching it on a stream though. <laughs> I will not be watching it in person if that's what you meant. Yo, Captain Sterling, hello. Oh, yes, I finished the coffee. I feel like I can't give you a full review because I tried it so late, but it was good. It was good. I only tried it uh, making espresso though, but even though it was already like two months old, it still tasted pretty good. I would have liked to try it when it was more fresh. I wasn't getting quite as much like crema. And the, and the crema was a little watery, but I'm gonna guess that's because it's already um, it was sitting for a while. But it tasted pretty good. Both my, both me and my wife enjoyed it. As much as I want T1 to win, I love the Shire, so I want Weibo to win as well. Nah, I want Faker to win. Let the man retire. Let him go out with a bang. I want to see Faker win one more time. I want to see him dominate. I want to see him rail them. Rail Weibo in the ass. And then just announce his retirement. That would be a sick way to retire. Rumor has it Teha is actually going to Korea to build keyboard for Faker. I wish. You can use my cream in your coffee. Okay. Faker goaded, he needs his W. Agreed. Not gonna lie, Zeus is mad. Mad gap top lane on Weibo jungle is better too. Yeah, but you can never rule out Faker. Flash is the superior gamer with superior game anyway. Uh, do you mean Flash as in like StarCraft Flash? Does the Korea trip mean we'll get a Jeon face reveal in the vlogs? Uh, I do have a date with Mr. Jeon. And I will try to vlog if I can, but I'm not going to force Gion to be in the vlog if he doesn't want to be. I'm hoping I can get a tour of his factory and office space. But his face is public. You can see his face in some of his older videos on the Gion Works channel. 
Please recommend me a coffee roaster for pour over coffee. Dude, Maru coffee never lost. Maru coffee is very good. Um, I guess more accessible in California. I mean, Ritual. I like Ritual beans. Sight Glass has good beans if you're in the Bay too. Stereoscope. Um, there's a lot of good Korean coffee brands nowadays too. Fritz, Say are popular in cafes at least. Maro was busting. Nice. Release the knowledge vlog. I think, I mean, that's up to knowledge, man. I think he forgot. I'm still waiting for his approval. <laughs> You taking one of these bowers for Gian? No, I will not be traveling with. <laughs> I will not be traveling with keyboard equipment. Okay, it's hot swap. Um, I mean, all the previous bowers I've tried didn't really need foam. Install your PCB standoffs. Question, Garrett. Okay, Nathan, fun thing just got approved. You need your phone. Go to our Instagram page and click. Click on the third tab after the reels. Am I getting baited? Wait, what just happened? Go to your Instagram. Go to our Instagram page. And click on the third tab third tab after the reels oh should i be showing this on stream oh what is this there's a star oh you guys made a filter Find the face. Wait, how do you use this? Hi, chat. Oh, guess that's what we gotta use. Dual shot? Nah, I'm gonna use botanical. <laughs> I'm gonna veto too. Dual shot on seafoam? Are you joking me? What the heck? Um, are the standoffs necessary? Because I usually don't use standoffs for hot swap. I'm gonna guess that should be fine for the bower too, right? This is a dictatorship. Yes. Yeah. If if you are worried about your switches. Um, not being able to hold the PCB definitely do install the standoffs especially if you're also using three pin switches but I have five pins and I generally don't install standoffs if I can get by without it sea foam and botanical are two very different greens what about blurple should we put blurple on this Letter Z, hello. Blurple is purple. Yeah, I mean, it's a light purple, but it might work. Cut that part of the backspace so I can just put one switch. Yes, uh, we did do it earlier on stream. It's very easy to cut. If you do want, if you are more of a full backspace user, then definitely cut it. Okay, 
Okay, no rattle. Okay, sick. No rattle anywhere. These TX stabilizers, yes, we are using TX uh, clip-in stabilizers. It will look like Easter with Blurple. I'm with it. What's wrong with Easter, man? Okay, if you actually, uh, because this is a polycarbonate Wait, where's my phone? Ah. Let's use the plate fork. Is there a new tradition for anniversaries now, Mr. Teha? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I can do subathons anymore. <laughs> I'm getting too old for subathons. I think maybe at most I'll do a 24 hour stream. I don't know, how do I incorporate YouTube for this? Because I do I am focusing more on YouTube now. What are fun anniversary things to do? Giveaways? I'm, I mean, I'm still down for giveaways. <clears throat> you can dual stream to YouTube now. Yeah, I will set that up after I'm back from Korea. Didn't have uh, the time to look into it this week. Yeah, subathons were the most amazing experience. Wait, really? They were fun, but I cannot stay up for that long anymore. Um, so what, like what time zone are we operating from for release date next week? So I can start staying up starting Sunday night. I wanna say, I mean, it's gonna be in stock. I'm going to assume Omnitype has a good amount in their inventory. But once again, the date is not set. Date and time is not set. Yeah, but also on the, on the flip side, if you do somehow miss the first batch, like Omnitype could Omni, the Omnitype can very easily pump out more units. That is the uh, cool thing about injection molded products like these. They've already paid for the mold, and it's being made in the USA, so they have control over the QC, and they could uh, very easily visit the manufacturer if there's issues. If there's enough demand, they will uh, definitely be making more of these units. No more anniversary kisses, no more. Did you see all nine minutes of F1 practice before bed last night? You mean the uh, the manhole cameo? <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I was too poor to afford going to Vegas for F1 this year. <laughs> Seems like not worth the money to go this year. Is there any hope? Uh, I've been sitting on a Rama order for two years now. I want to say you have no hope. Uh, at this point, cut your losses and get a Bauer Light instead. Uh, f what is that white fork used for? So this is this is called a plate fork. It's used to fill in the gap between the PCB and plate. Generally, you only need this for uh, soft plate materials like polycarbonate, um, ABS, palm plates, generally these kind of plates. If you install the switch without a plate fork, you can have the switch kind of 
like not fully clipped because the material is so soft. So when you when you use a plate fork, it ensures that the plate stays lifted up and clips onto the switch. But if you're, if you're gonna build this with a aluminum plate, for example, generally you don't have to worry. Uh, metal plates, if they do have a ton of flex cuts, you might wanna consider using a plate fork as well in those cases, but if you're using like a full aluminum plate, full any kind of full metal plate or carbon fiber, you don't really need to worry about it. This is only more of an issue with plastic plates. But I mean, these are pretty cheap. You can even find files for these online and 3D print your own. Doesn't have to be any high quality material. It's just meant for uh, filling in the gaps between all these switches. Because it feels, fills in the space below the plate. Um, you can use literally, yeah, you, you also don't have to use this. I used to use chopsticks in the past. Just anything that would fit this distance relatively similarly. Chopsticks work fine. Uh, I've used index cards in the past. A stack of credit cards. Are you taking any film cameras with you, Korea? No. Uh, maybe 35 mil. I might take my Rico 35 point and shoot. But just taking my Leica and Rico. Yeah, fra f film has gotten so expensive. Are your MX Blacks broken in? Yes, these have been broken in for 100,000 actuations plus a little bit extra. So not too heavily, but it does have some usage. Yeah, I've used chocolate fractals, hello. Uh, GR3 or GR3X? I have the GR3. What kind of switches are these? These are linear switches, Cherry MX Blacks. Luba 205 grade zero, Duroc switch filmed, and 62 gram TX long spring spring swapped. Uh, we'll have plate forks in stock for cheap in a few weeks. Ooh, sick. Film is so expensive, makes me sad. Yeah, actually though. Why would you break them in for? Is it just recycling the switches? And what's a GR3? Uh, break in is just so you have a better, smoother initial experience. Cherry switches are not that smooth from Cherry. So by breaking them in, you'll have a smoother time just out of the box when you build your keyboard. It's not a requirement, but it is a nice little touch if you can afford to. When the switches are broken in, are they lubed prior to that or after? They are lubed after they are broken in. There is no breaking happening when lubed. Yeah, and it'll be much slower. How do these switches compare to Oil Kings? Wait, you've never used Cherry MX Black switches, Mosaic Dev? Um, Oil Kings are much smoother out of the box. I personally prefer broken in Cherry MX Blacks uh, over Oil Kings at the end of the day. If you if you have the opportunity to, to try a really, really nicely lubed and well-worn Cherry MX Black build, I think it's still the king of linears for me personally in terms of sound and feel. I mean, feel, I think for linear switches, feel after a couple years of usage like it gets pretty equalized, but the Cherry MX sound still goaded in my opinion. Okay. Have you ever thought about buying an, an actuator machine to break in switches? Uh, I have, but I mean, I just pay someone. <laughs> That's what uh, Custom Keys Co. has been doing for me these days. Okay, install your stabilizers. We did that. Install your PCB standoffs. Uh, I will say that's optional. Install your switches. Okay, this is new. Install donut bumpers on top housing. Insert the eight donut bumpers into the slots in the middle of the top housing. It is okay if they do not go all the way into the slot at this time. The compression of the final assembly will seat them fully. 
Okay. I think these are the donut blockers too. Yeah, so if you will remember from the Bauer, the, the Bauer 1 and 2 did not have these kinds of hardware. So these are new. Getting a little dark. Okay, and then the Omni type gives us the positions to install them for. So there's one here, one here. Oh, my, my fingers are kind of fat. Bauer 2 had, oh, Bauer 2 had taco bumpers? One, two, three, four, okay, yeah. The waiting room ends for Bauer. Which will be released faster, Bauer Light or Ramakara Sequence 2? Oh, that is a very easy question. I would bet my, I would bet my life saving Bauer Light <laughs> releases before. Bauer Light has been announced. It will launch next week. Rama isn't going to deliver anything, if I had to guess. How many actuations do you like your MX Blacks? Um, I mean, the more you can do, the better. But I do think there is a there is a point of diminishing return. I think up to like 250k, you might be able to feel some differences. But beyond 250k, I don't know if it's necessarily worth the effort. Okay, so it looks like we got all the donuts installed. Is it the taco next? Install isolation strips on bottom housing. Position the bottom housing where you can see the inside. Ah, okay. Carefully place the 265. Okay. Only delivering plant pots and lighters. Oh, wait. <laughs> Omnitype included a pair of tweezers. Whoops. Yeah, for, for the donut, it's a little bit hard to, it might be a little bit hard to install with your finger, so included tweezers will help quite a bit. Okay, so I'm guessing these go here, yep. Oh, do we have extras? Do we also install gaskets on top? No. Oh, I'm an idiot. It even says recommended tweezers. Ah, there we go. Recommended tweezers. I did not read that. Uh... Are you packed for Korea yet? Nope. I need to pack after the stream. Have not done anything for Korea yet. <laughs> Maybe a sound. Is there a sound difference between injection molded polycarb compared to CNC polycarb keys? Oh yes. Definitely will be a sound difference. Dream you're packing. <laughs> oh, I gotta do it with Jen. I gotta wait for her. 
Any particular reason you chose to design the bar light plate with the intention of breaking it instead of doing a dual support style orientation? You don't, you don't have to break it. <laughs> Bulky jacket, is it cold where you live? No. Well, it was a little bit colder earlier. And I just never took off the jacket. What are you traveling to Korea for? Uh, just vacation. Vacation slash visiting family. My, uh, or, uh, sorry, my grandparents as well as my wife's grandparents. Uh, that, that both families live in Korea. They could not fly over for our wedding. So we never really got to introduce ourselves to uh, the motherland family. Do you watch Korean variety shows like Running Man? And no, you just suck. I used to watch Running Man, not so much anymore. I watch some variety shows. Still though. I've been watching um, Da Onja Sanda, I Live Alone. Very good show. Okay. Installing these strips, pretty easy. I hate it when these uh, strips, sometimes, sometimes the material of the, the strips it lends itself to stretching, but these ones do not really stretch, so they fit perfectly in the cutouts. Okay, install breakout PCB. Place the breakout PCB between the supports on top of the screw housing and the bottom housing. The USB-C port should be facing the bottom. Okay. Taeha flying to Korea just so you can get it on with Jion on Taeha pipes. Yep. You caught me. Yeah, so there is a little standoff there. And the PCB just kind of fits there nicely. Oh, where is the JST connector though? So because it's facing like this, I'm gonna say it's probably smarter to have this pre-plugged and then you want to install the daughter board PCB on it's already bar light time yes sir had to snitch on you snitch on me to who uh, where are the daughter board screws Is it a part of this? Maybe it's a part of this. That's a cool step-by-step -step instruction? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Would it be possible to use a non-permanent jacket style of gasket for the plate? I know sticky gaskets can be a pain to install sometimes. Maybe for a future version? Okay, do we see any the two socket heads T10 Torx driver? Which of these is T10? T10 is pretty thick. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> Your <own> knowledge. <laughs> Thank you for the 35 months. How dare you build a bar light without me? Uh, sir, my vlog? When is my vlog getting approved? Hello? I've been waiting for years now. <laughs> yeah, but we have the bar light. It's going live next week. In stock next week. Keep your eyes peeled for the announcement. That vlog is cooked? Come on. Come on, the people are waiting. Okay, next step. Install taco bumper. Slide the taco bumper onto the four outside corners of the plate. 
taco bumpers ensure your plate assembly stays correctly placed within the top housing all right i mean these look nothing like the tacos i get in la but i see the inspo i see the inspo can the gaskets be put on the plate instead of the case so the adhesive isn't so visible on clear cases i think it's been designed such that it's not quite visible that was uh one of the initial concerns once the power light was announced to people but i think omni type probably took care of that okay install the gst on the other side okay well install bottom housing what Set top and bottom housings. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so bottom housing like so. Top housing with the curve goes this way. And then we set. Oh, okay, let me take this off for a bit. So that's what the tacos are for. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so you can see the corner cutouts. The taco bumpers are there to prevent some plate on plate action. And it is it is in there pretty pretty centered. Yeah, it, it aligns the plate. If you can see the two there's a nub there, there's a nub there, nub there, a nub there. Pretty cool. And it's mostly concealed, but you can't you can't see the the black tacos from some angles. Well, actually, we haven't installed the keycaps yet. Maybe the keycaps might cover a lot of it. Okay, where to buy this kit? Omnitype.com slash types. It will be releasing sometime next week. Okay, install bottom housing. So yes, there are these two... Okay, hold on. There are these two little nipples here, which need to slot into the cutout on this front side. Is that it? Yeah, you can hear it click. Oh, right there. See the two clips. Okay, screw the top, screw housings together and install feet. I'm gonna guess using the same. Oh, there's only screws on the top side. Interesting. Okay, this is a new change. Oh shoot. Wait, what I miss? You underestimate this new streamer. You can do them first or last. Don't be afraid to push and snap them in place. They won't break. Ah, okay. underestimate this new stream uh what is the name of a record player my record player it is the rega p6 this is how we're talking about we can he can find a way to break it oh for sure you ready for the drop test ah oh, but do i want to drop test a first edition now nah, maybe we'll swap the housing over to a why is this not screwing in There we go. Is the Bauer Light a drop or do they have in stock next week? It will be in stock. It is literally the first thing you see on their website, no? Are all the regional vendors launching next week too? Yes. 
I believe all proxies will go live next week. Did we get a release date announcement? No exact date or time other than sometime next week. Next week it will officially launch, but the exact time and date has not been released yet. So make sure you guys are subscribed to Omnitype's newsletter or following their socials. Who are the proxies? Um, it was in one of their dev docs, I forget. But they do have proxies in several countries. I don't know off the top of my head as I don't memorize proxies. I don't think it will break, but for sure gonna dent. <laughs> oh, feet, feet, feet. Okay, the thick feet, nice. Oh, perfect. No stretch, it fits perfectly in the slot. Wait, is the redirect still broken? <laughs> GG. Do you have any vintage MX Black boards? Uh, you mean like customs that were built with Vintage Blacks? Or just like a keyboard built with Vintage Blacks in general? Or like a, sorry, an OG board that would have come with Vintage Blacks. Okay, install your keycaps. Install your Cherry MX compatible keycaps onto the switches. Keycap sizes. Oh, that's so cool. They even have a section for uh, which keycap size to use. If you're a noob, default layout NVIDIA, cool. Thank you. Omnitype.com slash powerlight. That's the entire build guide. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, my room is a mess. GMK Botanical, two. Also, Garrett, I have a complaint. We used uh, GMK Botanical, the desert base yesterday on stream. And why does it not have barred five? <laughs> it has barred F and J but no bar five. So this color white balance is getting funky. You got the complaining hairdo. What does that mean? Is this a Karen hairstyle? Did you get the novelties? I did get the novelties. Wait a second, does Bauer Light come with free GMK Botanical? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I'm down for that. If you guys don't get a free GMK Botanical with your Bauer Light, file a, a customer support with Omnitype. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it does not. But if you get the first edition Bauer, it does come with GMK Minimal. Um, the page looks awesome, cool to see the color combos. Omnitype should do a random giveaway for whoever orders green bar light. You have a chance to get a free GMK Botanical. <laughs> Alright, this is another set in stock that you can purchase from Omnitype if you would like. Let's see how good this looks on the C phone. Can we use the novelties? Yeah. 
2023 where GMK Mechanical is in stock. What a timeline we were living in. That is true. This set was pretty hyped when round one launched. I'm looking at get to get a mode envoy. Is there anything else better at that price point? Um Oh my goodness, what just happened? Oh what? What? Omnitype, thank you for the 20 gifted. Sheesh. Thank you, thank you. Uh what was I saying? Uh, are you looking for a 65%? Sorry. I guess that's the first question. Sixty-five? I mean this Bauer Light is also a sixty-five. Definitely something to consider. Uh, pretty different experience. But just because the Bauer Light is cheaper doesn't mean it's necessarily a, a worse board. Just depends on what you're looking for on a keyboard. Gamba chat. Play the jingle. Ah, it's not set up yet. I recently switched to streaming from Mac. I haven't set up all my assets. Feels bad. I gotta get that set up when I'm back. Also, knowledge. Do you need anything from Korea? I'm going to Korea tomorrow. Definitely hitting up the, uh, the Adder store. Gonna try to vlog there. If you need anything, let me know. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm streaming on a Mac now. I switched. Yes, bro. This guy hasn't set up his assets. Okay. Okay. Who said botanical wouldn't work? I think it's fine. The green is different, but I think it works. Bro, I can't stand you. Ain't no way you just said that. Said what? What did I say? Oh, set up his assets? <laughs> oh, I'm very down to say whatever sus stuff. You gotta live a little knowledge. What is life without a little sus? <clears throat> okay, I have the novelties on this key. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. I was skeptical, but hmm, I'm still skeptical. Uh, hey, Tia Tyson, want to give away two Bauer lights to these fine folks in stream? Whoa! Two Bauer, hold on. Two Bauer lights for chat? Nah. Fix the color balance. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I am down for two giveaways. Do they get to pick the colorway or what are, what are the options? What are we talking? We can give them from our end. You don't have to give them from your stash. Ooh, sick. I'm done, us dirty. What do you mean? <laughs> First edition excluded those. Ooh, okay. Hold on, let me finish putting on the... Oh. Huh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I do want to use both novelties. 
So let's put the bamboos on the inside. And then we can just put control. No work for Teha makes Teha happy boy. <laughs> Are those two sets really the same? The one in your lap looks really yellow. No, the one in my lap was GMK Botanical round two, but the desert base. The desert base basically has different alpha, uh, yeah, it has a different alpha color, but the mod colors should be the same, I believe. Okay, backspace, backspace, so keys. Heck, we'll throw in an additional top, bottom, or plate onto each prize too. Whoa! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What's the shipping situation though? Will winner pay for shipping? Ooh, Emmy Phobia asking the right questions. Will Omnitype cover shipping worldwide? Or, or is there uh, conditionals? We'll pay shipping for domestic. Okay, nice. So unfortunately, if you are an international winner, you will have to pay for international shipping, but domestic Omnitype will cover. The Americas win yet again. Dude, shipping is so expensive. Uh, I was shipping out merch this morning and I have business accounts. But uh, shipping a hoodie to shipping a hoodie to Australia this morning, it was it was charging me like sixty dollars for one hoodie. Like what the heck? How do you international people buy stuff online? Is Bar Light -like coming out next week? Yes, it is. Hey, Apparel goes crazy. Oh, thank you. Oh, dude, Damien, I saw the um, the Star Wars launch. I think you launched it this week, right? It finally happened. I think you were working on it when I visited you. That was pretty cool. Okay. Let me get this uh, giveaway set up. Yeah, if you guys have not seen, Mr. Damien Estrada just launched a sick... Uh, apparel collab with Star Wars. Go check it out. Okay, so Omnitype has graciously decided. Oh, shoot. Uh, Night. Nightbot.tv. Uh, we will be giving away two Bauer lights. You get to choose the kit. Uh, it does not include the first edition, unfortunately, but any of the five standard colorways, uh, you guys can pick the colorway for. And Omnitype has said they will also throw in an extra plate. I think extra plate, right? What should we make the keyword? Let's do... Keyword, should we do... Oh! Bauer... How do you spell roulette? Extra top, bottom, or plate of the winner's choice. Okay, okay. What is the, how do you spell roulette? Oh, wrong browser. Oh, there we go. Bauer rule. Bauer roulette. 
All right, type Bauer roulette one word in chat to be qualified to enter in this raffle. Free to enter. Once again, if you are a domestic winner, OmniType will cover shipping. If you are international, you will unfortunately have to cover shipping. But hey, you get a free keyboard. You get a free keyboard kit. Winner gets to pick the keyboard kit plus an extra top plate or bottom of your, the winner's choosing. I will pick a winner in three minutes at 4.38. Bauer roulette. Oh, I guess I should enter too, huh? Increase my collection of Bauer's. Bauer rule. Oh, frick, I spelled it wrong. Bauer roulette. Okay, and then let's just, uh, while that's going on, let's reprogram this. Can I use via? Oh, sh authorized device. Connect. Um, layout. Yeah, for I mean, for people who have not also tried out via, I imagine there's a going to be a large amount of people who have never used via with the bar light it is pretty easy to use okay backspace let's make this pipe enter right shift right alt left control mm, let's make this left windows left control left alt because i'm on mac now and then right window momentary layer let's put caps lock here uh, where's the ah there we go oh shoot no this needs to be that F1 through 12, okay. Looks pretty good. Already done reprogramming. John Thick, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, thank you. Why the switch to Mac? Because I'm doing a lot more video editing and editing software, at least the ones that I use, it just runs smoother on Mac. I am no longer fighting my machine for Premiere to run smoothly and do stuff that I want. you have a studio Mac? Yeah, I picked up the base model uh, M2 Mac Studio. And I've had no issues. I mean, I'm not recording in... I do record in 4K, but it's not like a crazy... Uh, crazy. Oh, it's 438. All right. Are we ready? First winner. Hold on, this music's a little slow for picking a winner. What's a good winner song? Good winter song. <sighs> what is this? First winner goes to Yo Rigged Tyler Keyboard Live. Are you here? And would you like to claim a free Bauer light? Dude, it's kind of rigged. I'm Tyler. Tyler has a minute to respond. Sir Tyler. There's okay, there's one more. We're gonna give away two. We're gonna give away two. There's one more chance to win. Also, it's getting kind of dark. Yo, Tyler might not be here. Hello, Tyler. It's been 39 seconds. Oh! Oh, shit. Claim? All right, sick. Uh, please DM me. DM me your uh, which colorway kit you would like, as well as which extra top plate or bottom you would like. All right. Congrats on the win. There's one more winner. You guys ready? One more winner. Three, two, 
One. Oh, shoot, my bad. Oh, partial Patrick. Definitely not a bot. I know there are Tad types regular. Are you here, partial Patrick? You have a minute to respond. Also, underground guy, thank you for the prime sub. Pyro Bunny, thank you for the prime sub. Since 2019, yeah, I, I recognize the username. Partial Patrick, claim? All right, once again, if you are international, you'll have to pay for shipping. But congratulations. Are we checking users? I mean, I know the winners. Okay, one more. I can't. I can't. Um, actually, though, I mean, I don't. I don't need all six bowers. Omnitype did send me six bowers. I will give some of them away during the holidays. Okay, not yet. I can't ship it out anyways because I'm gonna be in Korea tomorrow. But once Christmas time and holidays come around, I will give away some of these bower lights. I don't need all of them. I know these winners. Yes, rigged. <laughs> All right, do we have um, do we have casino? Has casino already happened? Low we met at Keeb Life is chill. <laughs> casino finished. Okay, let me bring the mic down. That's cool as hell, man. I'll be popping in. Sick. Okay, gotta use this as counterweight. The mic. What is the over under at today? What is the over under at? Oh, oh my god, my lighting has gotten so yellow. Sorry. Now that's too cold. 112 fluid. Okay. Oh, monkey type. Okay, this is going to be the first. No, the ads don't start. All right, I'll wait till the ads are done. I guess while the ads are going, oh, I forgot to show off the board. Can you also let me know once the ads are done? I apologize, it's getting a little bit dark in here. Hold on, let me brighten. Oh shoot. So this is the Seafoam top with the first edition bottom. You can see the opaque coming through the translucent. This is what the bottom looks like. Back, ooh, USB port, flush. It's got the Omnitype logo. Wish there was a better way for ads. Yeah, I mean, Twitch does that. <clears throat> Um, I mean, you can see a little bit of the strips. I personally think it's kind of cool though. I don't mind being able to see the gasket strips. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, mainstream regular tech enthusiasts are also nutting for this kind of translucent case aesthetic these days. So gonna fit right at home if you're into the translucent look it looks very nice uh, let me weigh this for you guys I mean this is going to weigh close to nothing we didn't use the foam this is using a polycarbonate case or plate fully built with no foam 616 grams Not even two pounds. One pound, 5.8 ounces. I think my camera's heavier than that. Oh, I lied. I lied. <laughs> yeah, pretty light. I mean, what do you expect though? No weight, it's all plastic. It shouldn't be that heavy. Take this thing to work? You could, but you definitely want to put this in a case. Consider picking up the carrying case from Omnitype, which uh, they recently found some more of from the warehouse. Because <sighs> if you chuck this in a bag with other stuff, it can definitely crack uh, if pushed in the wrong angles. Okay, hopefully ad is done, right? Is ad done? Can I start the typing? 
I gotta find a better counterweight for this. What camera is that? The Ricoh GR3. Okay, not first typing test because that is Mr. Alex Sotos. Hold on, I need to enable layout fluid. Okay, you got you said 112? Shoot, 112? Let's do it from this angle. Can't see the camera as much. 112, you say. Okay, so this is the typing test of the Bauer Light built with Cherry Young Splacks, lube with Crytox Tool 5 Grade Zero, TX switch film, sorry, Duroc switch film, uh, 62 gram TX long spring swapped, no foam, polycarbonate plate, keycap set is GMK Botanical Round 2, keycap, or sorry, case is the Bauer Light. This is how loud mouse clicks are at keyboard level. G is over there. Was it 112? Ah, I try. <laughs> These are what the mods sound like. Oh wait, that's not I mean, that is a mod, but. Space bar is nice. Oh, I mean, I'm going to say this again. I, I have yet to hear a terrible Bauer sounding build. Granted, this is only the first Bauer light I've built. But if you put decent switches in this, I don't think I've heard a bad Bauer. I mean, I, I am sponsored by Omnitype, but even all the previous aluminum Bowers I've built, if you put a solid switch in here, it's going to sound good at worst. It has the potential to sound really good. Yeah, you put on a nice lube film switch. This sounds pretty nice, pretty nice. This has a classic sound IMO. Yeah, I mean, it definitely preserves the sound of the Cherry MX Blacks. I will say, I mean, it does sound a little bit plasticky, but that's to be expected, right? Like this is a fully um, plastic case. It does have that sort of plastic undertone signature as opposed to a metal sound. But I mean, it's not like... This is also no foam. You don't need foam for this. Omnitype does provide case foam, 
uh, sorry, plate foam, but you don't need the plate foam. PE foam, don't even talk to me about PE foam. Not even an option for this, because you don't need PE foam. Bottom row sounds pretty good. I think the I think the weakest sounding area is probably this right side column. It sounds a little thin, a little hollow. But like you're never really spamming these keys. I'm just nitpicking here. Alpha sound really nice. Num row has that creaminess. Garrett tried an aluminum plate on stream and that sounded fantastic. Yeah, it would have been nice if I had the aluminum plate to try. Since I've been building um, a lot of the boards these days with aluminum plate and MX Blacks, but... I mean, even the mods, they all sound pretty nice. Uh, have we compared this to the original Bauer? I do have a personal Bauer, but it's unbuilt. I will try to build it after I'm back from Korea. I was saving it. You guys will see why I was saving the Bower build. But yeah. Will there be more plates? Yes, there will be more plates in the future. I think currently though, Polycarb is probably the only option. I don't know if Garrett is still here, but they could easily um, make plates in any material they really want. Oh, brass is available? Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing plate material or what's going to be available on launch day. But polycarb definitely will be an option first. I would be I would be surprised if they don't allow aluminum at a minimum down the road. We'll have some brass in stock. Okay, okay. Do we have a price? Yes, we do. So if you get the first edition um, Bauer Light, it's $174.99. But... It comes with a set of GMK Minimal, and this will be an exclusive 250 units only. This is, uh, you can, I guess, consider this the Founders Edition Bauer Light. Any of the other five standard colorways, it does not come with a keycap set, but all of them are $119.99, which I think is pretty fair from... Uh, lol, no, I can't remember what it is, honestly. They are leftovers. Oh, I think he's responding to someone else. Yeah, considering the fact that this is in stock and you can purchase um, each additional piece individually if you would like. I mean, yes, if you are really trying to, you know, cut your dollar budget in every corner, you can potentially get a cheaper build. But I think this is a very fair price for the Bauer Light. Um, it has taken a while for it to come out. Yes, the industry has changed. But after typing on this, I don't know, man. I would not complain about the Bauer Light still in 2023. It sounds and feels nice. What more do you want from a keyboard? Yeah, I, th I, think, I think it would be cool though if they un added Underglow RGB. Underglow would be sick. How is typing feel? I don't have the original Bauer to compare this with, but I think it's pretty similar. I don't think it necessarily feels any cheaper than the original Bauer. Um, the Bauer is not a board that's really known for flex. If you're looking for a very bouncy or flexy typing experience, the Bauer is not that. It has more of a traditional uh, gasket mount, but it's a nice gasket mount. It feels like a very comfortable uh comfortable not quite soft i would say but it's a comfortable top mount like experience like you can see if i push down really hard with excessive force you don't see much bowing you don't really see the keycaps move as much this just feels like a good old gasket mount that's well implemented which generally means it feels like a top mount with some nice clacky tones How's the typing feel to other 65%? Kohaku's, I don't have a Kohaku to compare with. Um, the Kohaku definitely has more of a bounce, I would say. Depending on the plate, the Kohaku can be pretty soft and bouncy. This one, um, yeah, it feels more like a top mount. I just saw your Tomorrow Tactile Switch sound test. I, I wanna know what you think of those switches. Tomorrow Tactile Switches are very nice. 
Can we get another... Another casino? I need a redemption. Another casino. Actually, while we do that, casino walleye drop test. Are you guys ready for the drop test? On the founders, I mean the first edition Bauer. Should I do it with the first edition? Wait, can I can I get a replacement first edition if this cracks? Or should I swap it out? <laughs> on the floor? Yeah, where do you where do you think I was gonna drop this on? A carpet? Oh, on, I mean I guess like hold on. Okay, let's do let's do on the desk first. Let's try on the desk. From uh, from face height. No dent. I don't think I see a crack. No cracks, no cracks. It is still pristine. No cracks, right? No cracks. All right, place your bets on casino. This is the true test. You guys can see the, the mess of the room this is right now, but if I zoom all the way out. You ready? Oh God. Oh shit. Okay, some sw some switches popped off. Well, I think I think no cracks though. Any cracks avail? No cracks. Omni type logo pristine. No cracks. Not even a chip or dent. I mean, granted, I did drop it like straight. Should I try dropping it like this? <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. If, if we're gonna drop it vertically, I don't wanna do it with a first edition. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm down to drop it vertically, but let me swap out the base. But then, what if it cracks? <laughs> That will crack for sure. Are you sure? Drop kick, let's go. Okay. Okay. Okay, redemption typing test. Here we go. Just do it with the founders with the first edition. Oh man. Alright, fine. Alright, typing test number two. This is how loud the mouse kicks are at keyboard level. Exact same configuration. Here we go. Oh my God.
Okay, I'm warmed up. Oh shoot! No! <laughs> I'm not warmed up. Pretty cool, pretty good. What desk mat is that? This is the Grove Made Wool Felt Desk Mat. Yeah, once again, this launches next week. Uh, undisclosed time and date, but it will be disclosed closer to the date next week. Just, just uh, until it's next week, you will not know the exact date, but it is coming next week. Um, Drop test. Okay, let's take this apart again. Final drop test. Uh, where did I put the... Shoot. Ah, oh, there it is. Drop it. Yeah, yeah, hold on, but let me, let me, um... Let me not use the first edition. <laughs> Can you swap the bottom to see how it sounds? Sure. All right. Did the Bauer light live up to your guys' expectations? Was the weight worth it? How are we feeling? I don't think 120 is a bad price. I don't think 120 is overpriced at all. If it can pass three drop tests. Do you rent or own? Rent? I mean, owning a house in California? Are you joking me? I wish. No, I, I've been rent. I'm a renter. I don't know if I'll ever be a owner. Way too expensive. Drop it off your balcony. I can't stream that. Good night, keepers. The keep dweeb. Have a good night. Okay, which case do I want to sacrifice? I'm more afraid for the keycaps than the board. I mean, the 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 board will hit it first, right? Wreck the red? No, I kind of like the red. I've got to go to sleep. Can I hit you up? Yeah, just hit me up whenever. I definitely want to keep the sea foam and the red. I'm thinking either the white or gray. We sacrifice. Actually, I'm down to sacrifice the Grim. I kind of like the all clear. I think it'll be fine. I mean, technically, this isn't a proper drop test because it won't have the gaskets installed. But it's fine. Do you think the gaskets would actually, with the gaskets, substantially improve the chance of survival? Should I? Nah, it's fine. Grim and Botanical, not too bad. Yes, for sure? Okay, fine. I don't want to misadvertise, you know? Maybe the gaskets, maybe these tacos and donuts do actually drastically improve. What is this song? Oh, wait, this doesn't look too bad either. Could kind of work. Okay, let's, let's yoink the donuts from the 
Seafoam. The, uh, the assembly for this, that seafoam plate through Grim looks really nice. It's, uh, it's It gets a little, the Grim is quite dark. Well, from this view, it looks pretty cool. From here, yeah. Yeah, the Bauer light also not too hard to assemble. I might say it's a little easier than the Bauer light. I mean the Bauer. <laughs> There's like more small steps you have to do on this Bauer light, but it makes, uh, it simplifies uh, the harder parts. Not quite as easy as the Mode Envoy still. I think the Mode Envoy or like the cycle seven, those were even easier to assemble, but this should be fine for anyone. Wait, did I lose a donut? Oh, this donut does not move. So wait, maybe I am missing a donut. Did you install the spacer for the PCB? Um, so the spacer for the PCB, it's not always required. That's more, the spacer is mostly to hold the PCB with the plate. Sometimes if you use loose switches on a hot swap PCB, the, the grip that the sockets have on the switch is not enough. But generally, if you use a five pin switch, you can get by without standoffs. And if you can get by without using the standoffs, I personally recommend it. Um, so you have as minimal interference between the plate and PCB as possible. It, it might make a difference, it might not. But yeah, I, try, I don't use it if I can get by with it. But definitely if you're using a three pin switch or if your switch is pretty loose in here, definitely do use the standoffs. You know the percentage of cotton in your teas? Heavyweight? No, I could not tell you the percentage, unfortunately. I don't know. What is this song? Or if you plan to take out all your switches to swap them, it keeps the heat PCB. Yeah, that is also true. hundred percent kind of cotton gal anything makes me itch ah uh, yeah I don't know the exact percentage unfortunately it's not that I'm gatekeeping the information I literally do not know unfortunately can you take requests to see all combinations yeah hold on let me do this drop test I did show it off in the beginning of stream but uh, after this drop test, I am happy to answer any questions you might have or whatever you would like to see about the Bauer. Well, let's, I'm just doing this for the, the drop test that people want to see. Why not put the gasket on the plates? Uh, I mean, you could. But if you have multiple plates, 
if you do end up swapping out the, the plate, then you're going to need a new set of gaskets. If you apply to the case, you can swap it out with whatever internal configuration you like. L Gunner, thank you for the prime sub. I dislike adhesive. I mean the 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 thing with gaskets though, you just need to do it once. It's not like you need to be constantly applying gaskets. Okay, that's it. I'm not gonna include the daughter board. I don't think the daughter board is gonna contribute much structural support anyways. No tape mod? I I don't think this needs tape. I mean, we can try tape modding it if you want. What time is it? 5.11? I have some time, but I don't think, I don't think this needs tape mod, honestly. Big Ken, hello? Power lights are real? Yes. The daughter board is actually the anchor to string. <laughs> No way it makes a difference. The plate, I mean, the plate already is sandwiched between the top half, so. And the two halves, sorry. The question is whether the, with the, with the PCB standoffs affect structural rigidity. This is a tape-free household. Oh no. The screw got stuck in sideways. Okay. Ooh. I dislodged it. Can you buy me one? I will be giving some of these away next month. Oh god. Here we go. Okay. We're gonna drop it this way. This is for sure gonna break. Hold on. <laughs> Three. Two, three, two, one. I think one of the, yes, the, the TX stab got loose, the, the shim, no cracks, no cracks, no cracks, did we do this side, no cracks, no crack, not even a dent. Yeah, you can see the light shining, not a single scratch or dent. And I do have wooden floors, not carpet. But you did, you did lose several switches and keycaps. Should we try? 
I mean, did it land on a on the corner? How did it look like it hit the ground? How's the floor? Big Ken, thank you for the 19 months. Can we milli rock now? What does that mean? All right. I mean, this is uh, durability approved, I suppose. I still would not be comfortable just chucking this in a backpack without any protective case. I would still personally recommend getting like a like a thin keyboard case at the minimum. If if at least at least wrap it in like a microfiber cloth. <laughs> Cause uh, like if you put keys and pencils, it might start scratching up the surface. That's impressive though. No cracks. Always use protection. Try running over it with your G wagon. Okay, buddy, you think I'm Rama Works, man? You think I want a G, a G wagon? Should we do one more? Mr. Koopo did say it had to survive three. Let's try it. Let's try it on the corner. Mr. Koopo said he's buying one if it survives three drop tests. Oh, actually. No, I think, I think it's, I mean, if that's a scratch, it's like barely a scratch. Not a single scratch or dent here. Oh, we did get a scuff, but it's not cracked. It's not cracked, but like the plastic is a little scuffed from the friction. But it's not like a chip or a dent. Oh, sh this this board is indestructible. Yeah, I mean, that's to be expected, right? We dropped it twice from above my height. A little bit of a I mean, that's a pretty minor scratch, I would say. But it does have a little scratch there. So this is probably the corner it landed on. Maybe the bottom still looks pristine. The back. Other side. No, I think we did that. We did lose about a third of the switches though. All right. This might be an OP commuter board. Hammer test went announcing Bauer light buffing kits. Plug it in to see if it works. Oh, there's no daughter board installed. The daughter board is still on this. You can, I can't, I don't have a balcony to throw it off of and pick it up. <laughs> uh, I think at this point you would need to actually try to break it. Should I kick it? You want me to kick it chat? No, I can't, I can't. There's nowhere for me to kick. I, I have an idea. What if I do this? What if I just go monkey? No, I think it's actually, I mean, this is the side I was banging. The, the clip unclipped. 
But that's easily pushed in. Dude, not a single crack. This is OP. Okay, last one, last one. Actual last one, and then I'll let you guys in. Where if I just... I should actually throw it this way. I'm gonna throw it this way. Woo. I dented the ceiling. <laughs> is this the paint that it scuffed off or is this Dude, that's just the paint. It scratched the paint off my ceiling. <laughs> but it's it's pristine underneath. What? No dent. No scratch, no dent. Oh, yeah, more paint. That's from the initial uh, first scratch when we dropped it on the corner. Dude. <laughs> Made in the USA, baby. Is this the power of Made in America? Yeah. I mean, the, the stuff you hear rattling is the, um, the stable under shim that got loose. Not too bad, not too bad. Is it made in the USA? Yes, um, the, the injection molding is done in the US. That is how, uh, that is one of the reasons why it took so long for Omnitype. They are working with an American manufacturer. So if there are issues, Omnitype could always uh, go over to the manufacturing factory and you know tell them this is wrong. But yeah, made in the USA, 120, not too bad. Pretty sick. Let me try a flex test. Dude, still, still pretty fine. All right, this was the, uh, this was the Bauer Light. Keep your eyes peeled next week. Or when it does go live. If only your hoodies were made in the USA. Yeah, maybe the next run I'll try a, a US manufacturer. Do it off your balcony. <laughs> I'm not sore. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Alright, any final things you guys would like to see about this Bauer Light? I think um, it's a good place to stop. <laughs> Anything else you guys would like to hear or see? Oh yes, the other colors. Yes, I do have those. Where did I put the other colors? You'll never receive a free keyboard anymore? What do you mean? I'm literally sponsored by Omnitype. I think I need to run it over with a car for content. That would be pretty good content. This is the uh, this is the rouge, the red color. I want to see the purple in your lighting. This is the atomic. My lighting is a little bit warm right now. It's not too far off. I mean, this is the atomic. The uh, the logo color does change depending on the color. So this here is black. On the uh, the seafoam, for example, it's more of a white logo. Oh, what is up with my autofocus today? But yeah. That was a rouge. This is the this is the ghost. 
kind of just the traditional clear polycarb look. The logo is also white for the ghost. This is the sea foam without the any discoloration. And then this is the first edition Bauer light. The only opaque offering so far. And this one has a black logo. Can you get Bad Bunny to throw it? Who's Bad Bunny? Is that another streamer? Can I plasti dip it black? I mean, I suppose once you once you get one, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm not, uh, not too sure on the expert. I'm not too sure on how plasti dip works. Alex says that's not how you type on a board. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I am the greatest. I am the greatest stress tester of Omnitype products. We even stress tested his, um, not his, sorry. Back when Omnitype released the keyboard bags, we literally put a key cult. Was it a key cult? We put something. No, we put a bower. Oh yeah, it was an aluminum bower that we put in the keyboard case. And then I literally kicked it across the room. And now with this new keyboard, we, uh, we stress tested it to the limit. <laughs> New streamer things. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, gotta make it on the the keyboard radar somehow. You know, it was a client's bower. Oh shoot! Who is Bad Bunny? I don't know who Bad Bunny is. But did you knock the bower corner on the desk? I did, but I had a stack of desk mats. Did you taste test the Bauer? No, I'm not. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, I think that's it for today's stream. I will not be streaming for the next two weeks, but once I am back, hope, hopefully I can get back to schedule. But I do have some videos planned to release while I'm in Korea. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. There's going to be a big video coming out next week. i got to get Linus to recreate that moment. Yeah, go watch some other streamers for the next two weeks until I return. Uh, once again, Bauer Light goes live next week, sometime next week. Follow Omnitype on their social media. Join their Discord. Join the newsletter to be notified of when the exact time and date is announced. <clears throat> what else? I think that's it. Oh, merch, Taya Types merch, 40% off for stream viewers or anyone who watches the VODs. I want you so bad is the code. Gets you 40% off of Taya Types merch. Expires on Cyber Monday. Yes. Okay, who is live? Who can we raid? Any keyboard streamers live? Enjoy getting 20 pounds in Korea. Dude, I'm scared. Korean food is so good. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna come back even fatter. All right, let's raid Kim Lin. She finally streams when I am live. Kim Lin Win. All right, have fun in Kim's stream. What is she doing? She is building a Nyx Lilith 65. All right, um, send her my regards. Ask her if she can do drop tests. You know, ask her to throw keyboards like I did today. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Mr. Omnitype for letting me check out the Bauer Light finally. Safe, safe travels. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, I will miss you guys. Stay safe for the next two weeks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy early Thanksgiving for those of you guys celebrating. I will be in Korea. Bye-bye. Raid 